students welcome to s dot math guru classes now our main discussion is uh, homogeneous differential equation some problems given which is not homogeneous but we convert in homogeneous differential equation and solving this now let us consider one problem solve twice x plus y plus 1 dx plus 4 x plus 2 y minus 1 dy equal to 0 this problem is given now we want to solve this problem now solution is that twice x plus y plus 1 dx equal to we taking this one right hand side 4x plus 2y minus 1 dy and dx taking right hand side this one taking this side so dy dx equal to minus twice x plus y plus 1 by 4x plus 2y minus 1 we get this one now this implies dy dx if we write this a by a this is 2 by 4 1 by 2 b by b 1 by 2 so they are ratios are same their ratios are same means we have a common factor so what is the common factor first we have to find the common factor this is twice x plus y plus 1 and from this taking two common then twice x plus y minus 1 we get twice x plus y twice x plus y common factor so let twice x plus y equal to z we consider another variable and if we differentiate both sides with respect to x then we get this one 2 into 1 dy dx equal to dz dx so dy dx equal to dz dx minus we putting this value here if we putting we get dy dx means dz minus dx minus 2 this equal to minus uh, this is z plus 1 2z minus 1 and dz dx equal to minus 2z minus 1 z plus 1 uh, this 2 taking right hand side plus 2 we get this dz dx equal to and taking lcm 2z minus 1 lcm minus z plus 1 plus 2 into 2z minus 1 and this equal to 2z minus 1 minus z minus 1 plus 4z minus 2 and this equal to 3z minus 3 by 2z minus 1 this is dz dx next we get and variable separation uh, dz multiplying this side dividing this side and dx this side we get 2z minus 1 by uh, 3z minus uh, taking this is uh, we write another term this one uh, 3z 3 common dz dx 3 common then we get z minus 1 and denominator is 2z minus 1 and a very variable separation this one dividing this side a dx taking this side 2z minus 1 by z minus 1 dz equal to 3 dx we get this if we separate variable then we get this one now we integrate both sides we get this now this is 2z minus 1 this one if we divide z 
by z minus 1 2z minus 1 dividing by z minus 1 this is 2 2z minus 2 this one 1 we get so this will be this will be uh, 2 plus 1 by z minus 1 dz equal to 3x we get this one and this is 2 dz plus dz by z minus 1 equal to 3x and 2 integration dz means z this is log of z minus 1 this is 3x plus c 2 z means we know the value of z twice x plus y twice x plus y plus log twice x plus y minus 1 3x plus c so this will be 4x plus 2y log of 2x plus y minus 1 equal to 3x plus c taking 3x this side minus 3x then this will be x plus twice y log of twice x plus y minus 1 equal to c and this are answer x plus twice y log of twice x plus uh, y minus 1 equal to c this is the answer very easy solution very nice solution okay, another problem this one this is the cousin of previous problem same type same method now solution is start x minus twice y minus 2 dx equal to twice x minus 2y minus 3 dy this implies dy dx equal to this one taking this side this one this side x minus y minus 2 by twice x minus twice y minus 3 this implies dy dx equal to x minus y minus 2 from this 2 taking 2 common x minus y minus 3. So, in this problem, this is 1 by 2, 1 by 2, a by a 1 by 2, b by b 1 by 2. So, we get ratios are same, then we must have a common factor. The common factors are x minus y, x minus y. So, this is the technique. If a by a equal to, we get 1 by 2 b by b equal to minus 1 by minus 2 this is 1 by 2 if ratios are same then we get the we have a common factor first we find the we have to find the common factor the common factor is x minus y x minus y taking two common x minus y so let x minus y equal to z we're taking ddx on both sides differentiating both sides with respect to x this is one this is dy dx and this one dz dx and this implies one minus dz dx equal to dy dx we get this and putting this value here dy dx means one minus dz by dx this is z minus two 2z minus 3 and this is minus dz by dx z minus 2 2z minus 3 minus 1 1 taking right hand side and minus dz dx equal to 2z minus 3 is common z minus 2 minus 2z plus 3 we get this and this will be minus dz dx equal to 2z minus 3 minus z plus 1 we get this one and this implies uh, and taking minus sign common in numerator 
then you get z minus 1 by 2z minus 3. This minus minus cancel and variable separation. 2z minus 3 by z minus 1 taking left hand side and dx on right hand side. We get this one. Now we divide this one. 2z minus 3 dividing by z minus 1. Then this is 2, 2z minus 2, this one minus 1. So this implies uh, this is we get 2 minus 1 by z minus 1 dz. This is dx. We integrate both sides. And we have this is 2dz minus dz by z minus 1. This will be x. Then integration dz means z and this is log of z minus 1. We can add modulus or without modulus. And putting the value of z, z means x minus y. So this is 2 into x minus y log of x minus y minus 1 equal to x plus c plus c we get and this is twice x minus 2y minus log of x minus y minus 1 this is x plus c taking x this side we get x 2x minus x x minus 2y minus log of x minus y minus 1 equal to c and this is our answer. Answer is this one x minus 2y minus log of x minus y minus 1 equal to c. This is the final answer. So these are very interesting, very easy, but most important for exam. This type of problem will come in your exam in engineering courses. These are very important and bhc measure also mesh measure also these are very important i hope you are all enjoying with me if you are all enjoying then please like this video if you are new in my channel for getting new new videos at the very beginning then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you